Hello there, I'm Dr. Purnendu Roy. I'm a surgeon in Genesis Hospital. And today also we have Rushmina Roy, uh, my daughter, Judy. Hi. Uh, Judy, uh, when we were in medical college, we encountered one thing which is called medical student syndrome. Uh, I remember my neighbor, I wouldn't take the name, <laughs> every night whatever disease he read next morning he woke up and he was convinced <laughs> that he had that disease and uh, many of us who never went through this we met fun of him we met fun of other people but then I checked up that actually this condition do exist there are papers on it it's known as medical student syndrome or second year syndrome or intern syndrome. Uh, Judy, what I want to know is now you're second year. This is the right time for you to get this uh, second year syndrome. So what's your experience? Uh, I think I've had it at different times. I once thought that I had appendicitis. Another time I was uh, taking my blood pressure and I diagnosed myself with hypotension. I don't know, everything I study, I feel like I have it. It's funny because uh, I've seen a very close friend of mine actually think she was having a heart attack. And You mean, uh, is it because she had some symptoms or is it only because uh, she read about it? She felt like she had symptoms. So she told her family and they actually went to a hospital and got her heart checked. And I have another friend who thought she had a brain tumor and uh, we actually went to the hospital to see and everything is was this okay. The time when you, <laughs> is this the time when you rang me from your medical school yeah. that my friend has got brain tumor? Yeah. Uh, this is one condition which I have seen. Now, one of the main reason is it's the anatomical knowledge. That's why people say that's in second year. Because once you have understood that this is where the appendix is located, mm. this is where the gallbladder is located. So any kind of discomfort, you will start pressing. It's actually funny because we're surrounded by people who are studying the same thing. So it kind of follows us wherever we go. Once uh, I was at somebody's birthday party and we were having dinner and a senior of mine who's also a medicine student started looking at my neck and he was like, what's wrong with your neck? I think you have goiter. And he made me <laughs> stick my hands out and he kept like touching. And this is at dinner. This is at a birthday party. And all of us, all of us are guilty of this. I feel like we all have a way of letting it seep into our brains. People in medical schools are under severe stress yeah. and the students are expected to perform, be perfect. Mm. And when you see patients, mm. uh, you are under pressure that you have to make correct diagnosis. Correct. And that's why, you know, I'm talking about somebody whom you know very close that uh, the day uh, she reads diabetes, <laughs> <laughs> she went, she forced me to take her to to the blood sugar <laughs> test. She was convinced that she had hypothyroid and she did her thyroid profile test. Uh, there is a paper I found that which is very surprising that even though the medical students have the easiest access for uh, medical, care. medical care, they can reach out to the doctor, but still they tend to hold on to everything. Yeah. And because they have pent up, bottled up, bottled up anxiety yeah. and then they start thinking all kind of things. So <laughs> what are the other bizarre uh, uh, symptoms that you have seen? In so um, like you said, we're under a lot of pressure. I feel like the closer we are to a stressful time, the more we experience these kind of symptoms. I personally felt this recently because I had a very big exam and I just felt my heart racing. I started thinking I had palpitations and I kept going to the clinic. I went to see the doctor and the funny thing is every time I used to land up at my university's clinic, I used to see my friends over there. <laughs> <laughs> And we used to meet there and they used to be like, what's wrong with you? And I'd say, what's wrong with you? What are you doing here? So how do you or how did your friends cope up with this? We actually went and saw the doctor and then every time the doctor said we're fine, we knew we were overthinking because we had so much on our minds. 
I think we are trying to distract ourselves from the actual like theory by thinking that something is physically wrong. Judy, it must be terrible, you know, like to read something and get the feeling the next day. Like imagine if somebody has read about pregnancy and next day wake up and think that, oh God, I could be pregnant or for that matter, tumor, cancer, tuberculosis, or any disease like this. If you enjoyed watching this video, please share it with your contacts, like it, send your comments, subscribe to our channel, and keep watching such videos. Thank you. Thank you.